Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're off to the races, so I thought I might do like a get ready with me kind of thing. To be perfectly honest, I've always wanted to do kind of like makeup tutorials because obviously if you didn't hear my other vlog, um, I do do makeup for a living, but I don't know, I just feel like on myself, I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup. Like obviously you can see I've got my lashes done yesterday. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I kind of like to focus a lot more on my skin and kind of do more just natural makeup on my eyes. I mean, I always really stick with like oranges and like rusty colours on my eyes. Um, just because I feel like they complement me best. Okay, so I'd always recommend for the best makeup application, you always need to have obviously great skin curb. So I always like to do like a mixture of these two. So this is just, this one actually got on the way to um, Dubai in the airport. Um, just because I realised that none of my moisturisers have SPF in and I don't really like to use actual SPF on my face. I mean, I did end up having to do it only because this is SPF 15, but that's the highest fact I could find, so I don't know if it goes, so there we go. So it's the Body Shop Aloe um, Super Moisture Lotion. My skin's quite, like, it's very temperamental, so I've got quite, like, dry skin around the sides, but then I'm quite oily down the middle, so pretty much a combination skin, but then, again, it depends on the weather, so, like, in Dubai, my skin was really dry, so I was having to put loads of that um, rosehip oil on, um, so that's by The Ordinary, so I'll always use this which is like obviously like a very deep oil, it's 100% organic so depending on how dry my skin is I'll always put like a few drops of my into my moisturiser um, so like a day to day when I'm going to be wearing makeup all day I don't want it to be getting any dry bits because then obviously it starts to go into your fine lines and smile lines and all that good stuff so I feel awkward because normally when I'm getting ready I've got music on but I don't really want any copyright already when I'm, it's only my second video in so <laughs> okay so what I always do, no matter what, where I'm going, I'll always put on this MAC Lightful Tinted Cream. So this SP is SPF 30. Um, to be honest, I don't normally, if I'm going on a night out, night out, I won't wear this just because SPF 30, like the stronger the SPF, the basically the more of a white cash you'll get when someone takes pictures of you with like flash photography and that. But because it's, I'm going to have it on all day. And I like the kind of like freshness that's gives my skin. Obviously it's going to be more in natural light than it is going to be in the dark this makeup today. Um, I'm still going to wear it, but I'll probably put like a bit more um, coverage on afterwards just where I need it. So it does look like really dark, so you can see there it's a lot darker, but this one's in the shade, what shade is it? Dark, so yeah. <laughs> you can get kind of get like, it's not really, there's not really many shades, but it's one of them where it kind of just adapts to your skin too much you put it on anyway, which is why I think it's great for holidays. Um, because obviously your skin's changing pretty much every single day. But as you can see, my face is a lot paler than the rest of my body anyway. Like I, go, I do go quite brown, but my face just doesn't want to tan for some reason. So I kind of like to rub this in my hands like really easily. Probably should have made my fringe out the way. Okay, so the fringe is back. <laughs> now let's try that again. Okay, so yeah, basically I take this and then rub it all over my face. So it literally like it's the easiest thing ever. So I take about, I don't know, like a two pence piece size, first thing that came to my head, and then rub it all over, and then this is literally just going to like even out my complexion a little bit better, so it kind of gives me like a nice base already, and then it kind of just lets me see where I need to put the foundation as opposed to all over. I'm really sorry by the way that I'm going to be looking here the whole time because this is where the mirror is. Um, but obviously once I've done like a step, I'll show you up close in the camera. But yeah, as you can see, like, I had a few tiny little blemishes before, like, my skin's, my skin's quite weird because it's like, it's quite smooth, like, my skin feels like completely soft when you feel it, but I get like, quite easy pigmentation marks, it's like I've had any spots or, yeah, like, I've basically have been not and picked any spots and I'll end up with like little marks and this just kind of gets rid of that, but it still makes my skin look like skin, so yeah. It's actually called Radiant something. I've got to my sick. I'm so bad with all the names of these things. Yeah, it's called with Radiance Booster. So it's meant to give you like a slight glow. So rather than me looking completely matte, it gives me a bit more. Sorry, the lighting's not that great, but you can see it kind of gives me like a nice sheen. So yeah, that's that. I'm really sorry. I keep looking at the um, screen. I need to start looking down the camera. So I'm sorry if my eyes look a bit funny. But yeah, by the way, my lashes, I got them done by Faye Guilford, I literally like swear by her. I've honestly never found anyone better, they last so well on me. And basically I'm subscribed to, um, I don't know if you've heard of Birchbox, well there's Glossy Box and there's Birchbox, but um, I'm, I'm subscribed to Birchbox, it's really like, it's kind of like a subscription service that sends you about five items per month of like new, new and upcoming, upcoming, new and upcoming kind of brands, so basically like, 
it's a really good way to test out new products before having to buy them like the full price so I'd really recommend that if you're quite like not even new, just anyone really I'd say if you, if you love makeup um, and you still you love obviously I'm a makeup artist so I obviously I try out new things all the time anyway um, but yeah this is just great because like things like this like I didn't even hear actually that this has come out it's the new professional by benefit if it focuses it's the um the pearl primer so i've not tried this one before so if it's anything like the original professional then i'm sure i'll love it but we'll give that a go now before we put the rest of the foundation on so it'd be nice if i could unscrew it Hold on. right so this is going to be like a bit of like a first impressions so i'm going to focus it mainly just where my pores are quite large compared to the rest of my face so I'll try and show you like the difference my eyes are very like quite weird my eyes depending on like how much sleep they really do change so like I've been quite knackered this past week just because on holiday you kind of like I don't think you really care about sleep so so I literally been going to bed about two in the morning waking up at six in the morning basically seeing sun rises so I've literally probably had about four hours sleep every single night last week but already, I think it actually has like lightened the eye quite a lot compared to that one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I feel like it's it's nice because it's moved my pores down a lot. But I find with the other professional, it kind of like it's a bit too matte for me. Whereas that just kind of looks like don't know how well the camera can pick it up. But I feel like I can only really truly tell once I start put my foundation and stuff on. But yeah, it feels nice. I find some primers feel really like too silicone. Do you know to the point where you just feel like you're putting plastic on your face? Yeah, it might be a bit too much. I'll put a bit there on my chin. But yeah, oh, there's the door. That might be my other delivery because I'm having a bit of a nightmare of outfit, outfits, really. I basically, when I'm on holiday, you just don't really think about anything you need to do when you come back, do you? So I've had the braces planned for ages, but for oh no, I'll get a room, um, I'll get a nice dress in the mall. But when I'm actually there, I've realised, like, the last thing I'm going to be doing is dragging Paul Ryan around the mall, like, trying to find a dress, so... And plus, it wasn't the cheapest either. So yeah, I thought I'd order stuff when I come back. But yeah, that primer seems really nice. See so yeah, how well it holds up my foundation there, that's the main thing. I don't want it to be slipping off. Okay, so actually my favourite foundation at the moment is actually the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. It's really good. Ryan! Had to answer my own door. Okay, so anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so basically, I didn't really think about ordering anything before my holidays just because, I don't know, I had that many holiday clothes ordered, I didn't really think about the races. Um, so yeah, I'm torn between what to wear. Basically, I've got a white play suit jump, well, play suit looking thing, kind of looks like a skirt from the front, but, um, I'm sorry, a dress from the front, but it's like short to the back, so that'd be quite good if it's windy but yeah anyway I've just ordered another dress and pretty little thing because that's like literally where I get all my clothes from so yeah we'll see how that goes <laughs> you'll see anyway at the end of the video whatever outfit I picked, picked to wear okay so now I've let that like professional kind of sink in a little bit I kind of like to mix these tin foundations so yeah as I said before it is the Superstay 24 hour wear foundation I'm really sorry about how lucky they are so there's sun beige and there's warm sun so you can see that sun beige it's like a nice bronzy colour but I find it has a little tiny bit too much pink for it whereas this one's slightly too light for me but it's got that kind of more yellowy golden tone so I mix them both but hopefully I'll look like a bronzed goddess by the time I've done this so I'm literally going to take like a pea sized amount of each of them and then I'm actually going to put a slight bit of that serum foundation in just to kind of give it a bit more liquid, li I don't know, I don't know why I mix my foundations, I don't know, I've got this thing in my head where I feel like if I mix them all it's going to give me like the best foundation ever, <laughs> so. So yeah, I'm going to mix them up in the back of my hand. So as you can see, like, they kind of, well, my hand's quite dark but once it's on my face and I've got all my contour and everything like that on, it'll kind of bronze me up a bit then. So I'm literally going to... I'm actually going to spray some of this. This is from the Body Shop as well. It's the Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. So I'm actually like, rather than putting my face, I don't really like that because I kind of end up with like little blobby bits. I kind of like to put it directly on my sponge. This isn't even a beauty blender, by the way. I don't, I don't really see the point in spending about 16 quid on a beauty blender when I think this is literally from like TK Maxx and it feels, it actually feels softer than the real Technique. Te 
like the real Techniques ones as well, but I feel like this is even softer than that and this was literally like 4 99 or something like that. Um, British pounds from TK Maxx so I literally like dab on the back of my hand to try and get it like all over there and then like start from like the outside of my face kind of where my neck is where like I need it to, to sort of blend with the rest of my tan the most and then like work my way up my face because I'm going to put loads of concealer on to my eyes anyway so I don't really need a lot of foundation up there and obviously I'm going to put contour on so this is literally again just to kind of give me that tiny bit more coverage and colour without um yeah without giving me like a big cake face basically because no one wants a cake face I'm really sorry if I'm like mumbling by the way I'm just like I can't like multitask I don't like to put too much oh, I'll probably have to put too much in my nose but when I get like a bit of a tan I kind of get like a few freckles in my nose and I quite like that so I'll probably like try and wipe that off a little bit <laughs> yeah this is like one of the faces I make Ryan saw me do it the other week on holiday well not the other week last few days ago and got the shock of his life <laughs> he was like what the hell are you doing but I find on myself because like around my chin I don't know I feel like I can't properly see like behind this section don't know if anyone else gets that but I feel like by doing this <laughs> it kind of like merges everything into one so then you can properly see whether you've blended it or not so, yeah just my little trick there even if you do it like a complete sloth whilst doing it okay so next I'm a bit extra so I like to kind of use like two concealers so I'll actually I'll use like my main one now um, and then I'll do my contour and then if I need to brighten my eyes back up again then I'll go in with another concealer so first of all I mean I normally to, to be honest use the NARS um, not the creamy concealer because that's the one on the stick but it's basically the same version of that but the one in the pot but this one's basically like a dupe for it and it's the L'Oreal Fallible 24 hour concealer pomade so it focuses there you go it looks like that but um it literally looks like it's trying to be the NARS one basically but to be fair I find the shade like perfect for me so I kind of like to use this to get rid of my dark circles so you can see how like much coverage I'll do one eye and then I'll come back to the camera you can really see it's kind of really got rid of that like slight pinkness and puffiness so the only thing I'll do is I'll just get this very inner corner and rub it in there so that when I do put the contour on it'll kind of Blend in a bit more seamlessly. And a bit around my nostrils. Just anywhere where I've got like slightly more redness, which the foundation didn't cover basically, because like I said, this foundation's I mean this concealer is a bit more close to my um skin tone, so this one's just kind of like what I do with like foundation basically, but as well as underneath my eyes. Bit on my chin, just kind of tie everything together just so I've not got like two light bits in the middle of my face and then nowhere else now my eyebrows have like nearly disappeared so I'll sort them out in a bit okay so concealer done I'm halfway there now contour I mean on an everyday basis I don't really cream contour but I am going to the day just because I do want it to last that extra bit longer so I do quite like to layer my products a lot as opposed to like putting like a big thick foundation on and then like loads of contour I like to just use like bits of everything basically I feel like this is how it's going to get the most natural way by layering products because although it sounds like obviously you're putting a lot on your face you are but you're putting little bits of each product so that makes no sense this is actually a foundation stick and I prefer using these as opposed to like an actual contour stick just because when I've already got all my face makeup done I don't want even more coverage this is just going to bronze me up and kind of put me contour in where I need it so yeah this is basically 220 toffee well it's called toffee on the top and then caramel at the bottom so I don't know if it's toffee caramel or toffee or caramel so but yeah 220 um, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpting Stick so yeah I just like to put these in all your usual contour places so I'm just there uh, kind of like I don't actually like to suck in my face in too much I kind of just like twist a little bit because I feel like that kind of like shows my hollows a bit more and then like to be honest my nose I'm not too fussy about the contour just as long as I've got a bit of bronze on there because I feel like even if you're not too bothered about contouring you still want to put stuff on your nose just because it's going to tie the rest of your face in together rather than looking all bronzy on the outside and then having this like big white nose floating in the middle basically and then I kind of actually like to do a line here. I've only recently been doing this, but I find because I like to 
but quite bronzy eyes and I like to wing my shadow out quite a lot this kind of like I can't describe it but basically just like blends into the rest and yeah basically makes it look a bit more natural and like they're your natural shadows basically so yeah you can't be too you don't need to be too shy of this color too which is nice because like i said it's a foundation not concealer so it's going to blend out a lot easier than a would have found um, a concealer stick so a little bit underneath my chin I'll leave that like that and then if i need to add any more then i will do so I'm just going to take another Real Techniques brush. This is like, to be honest, like the most brushes I use. I don't really like human hair brushes. I actually prefer the um, Real Techniques and more synthetic hair. Like, they last so much longer and they really buff into your face. Whereas if I am with like the um, the, not the human hair ones, if I was to like buff it loads and loads, they start spreading out all in my face and then it's just like, who wants hair stuck over your face? So this is actually like my favourite thing to do now to blend out is actually use the universal glow bronzer from um chanel and it's actually a cream so it's really good to use i actually wore this off an evening holiday i wouldn't even like even when i didn't wear foundation i'd wear this all on the perimeters of my face and then kind of like just do concealer on top of my eyes and it kind of gave you coverage but without having to put again loads of products on your skin so i actually put this on the back of my brush and then i like to blend it blend over the cream contour so kind of dab first so just so i'm not moving it around too much i'll kind of do circular motions when i need to so that's actually blending really nicely yeah and because that bronzer is like kind of like an in-between shade to my actual skin tone and the um, contour shade it's going to give that perfect transition to make make the two melt into each other and again make it appear more natural so again i'm just going to dab over that bit try and keep it in its place and then I'm not too bothered about just buffing this bit in because I really want to get it into my hairline and not have like a big line I'm kind of just going over my whole eyebrow as well here he is all right team <laughs> <laughs> what's going on I'm taking it's ages because I'm waffling so much yeah it's fine it's waffle it's great anyway team ladies and gents boys and girls kids and lids let me get in the shot you're in the shot enough <laughs> Let me you get don't need to steal let me, my middle section. Let me get in the middle. Pause the video right now. Should we fucking and, roll that? And then, and then find the little little emoji which is like this. <laughs> and then there should be like a red button next to it saying like 30 odd subs. That That's how many we at the time of this video. But just press it please. You know, support, support the channel. Support our cause. Uh, it's moving on. I'm going to go back in the other side. Let's hope it's not been sat there for too long now that he's been messing around with the Prosecco and that. So yeah, again, like I said, I'm really not too bothered about my nose contour as long as I've got a bit of brown blended on there. A bit of brown. What am I on about? A bit of brown. A bit of bronzer shade. And I kind of just like to like blend it all into one. Because, like I said, I'm going to put more concealer in yet and kind of like brighten up areas that will need brightening anyway. So, sorry, I'm going to have to look back over here again because I really don't know what I'm doing on there. So yeah, literally blending that in with this brush. And then if I want to go back in with like a powder to make it a bit more defined, then I'll do that afterwards. Back doing the silly face again. <laughs> God, I'm so attractive. <laughs> Honestly, can't take myself seriously doing this. Like, what am I doing? Um, yeah, I kind of like to blend it up into my ears as well. Like, you really don't want to miss the ears out. Right. So I think that's all blended. Okay. So that's just kind of give me like a nice bit of colour. Like I said, I don't want it to be too like, like I'm really not into the very like, like sharp look because again, I just think it looks a bit too unnatural. So I'm now going to do what I said before and brighten the under eyes, under eyes, under eyes a bit more. So for that, I like to use, I mean, you can tell it's well a lot because you can't even see what it says anymore. But yeah, I basically like to use the Maybelline Eye Razor. You probably know what it is anyway. I think everyone's got this concealer. And then, yeah, just kind of like, I don't, try and, I mean, it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but this is actually like a really thin consistency, so it does blend out quite easily. So I kind of like to put it in like this kind of like motion and then blend it outwards a little bit. Not keeping it too high underneath my eyes because like, I've just done, I've put all my coverage there. So this is going to keep it a bit brighter. So a little bit down the middle, chin, fod. And then blend it all out. Some more spray. And to be fair, I just like to use the fat end of the <laughs> the fat end of the sponge for everything. So like the back end 
um, because I feel like because I've already used it for everything else it kind of like meshes everything together a bit more that makes sense so like because I've got a bit of foundation on it it's kind of kind of like blends it more seamlessly in with the rest of my foundation so yeah I kind of like to keep taking it up and then when I feel like I've got too much product then I can take the bare end which I've not already used and then go over it and that will kind of like melt it again into the skin back in sorry about that guys camera cut out <laughs> so where was it up to tech man ryan to the rescue <laughs> tech man ryan tech master ryan <laughs> so this is just the bacon and brightening loose powder so it's literally just like a yellow tinted powder so to be fair i don't really like to bake but i do like to kind of put a lot on and then like press it into the skin if that makes any sense so you'll see what i mean now so just making sure that I've tapped out that um, concealer into the eyes because you don't want it to be creasing. Okay. So yeah, I'll kind of do it in a kind of baking motion. So like that kind of shape, but then I'll literally just press it in. So yeah, you can see it literally just mattifies the eye and kind of does what I want it to because I, I don't really want it to, to use it as a way to kind of make it appear more coverage. I'll make it have more coverage sorry but just literally to try and keep it on all day and stop it from creasing so again just doing the other eye and then with the rest just go over the nose because again like I said I've got quite oily skin well an oily t-zone so I really need to keep the powder on around my nose and mainly my nostrils because I feel like that's I mean even if you've got dry skin around the nostrils say it's always going to be the first place for your foundation to start Rearing off and kind of separating a little bit, so we just needed to stay as on as long as possible, basically. And then I'm gonna go with another Maybelline powder, and this one's just like a pressed powder. Again, the Fit Me one. Hang on, let's do one of Fit Me one. No, that was just the Master Effects one, but this one's from the Fit Me collection, and it's literally just like. A darker powder so I like to put this everywhere else on my face just to kind of again keep me looking tan because I feel like if I put the rest of the um that baking powder on all over it can make me look a bit Ryan so yeah I literally like to use like a big flat brush like this and then kind of like press it over everything else and because it's like the same colour of my foundation it's just gonna make it look like how it already looks basically but again keep it on a lot longer than it would if I was, wasn't to powder it. Right, so now I'm not sure if I want to do my eyes first or the rest of my face first. I might do my eyes and I can see how, how much bronzer and blusher etc I want to put on them because I don't even know what kind of colour I want to do yet. I mean, let's be honest, it'll probably be nude because I don't ever seem to wear any colour than nude but I am planning on making it more of like a peachy nude tonight just to make it a bit a bit more summery okay so for my eyes i'm probably going to mainly use the p louise palette because it's literally like the only thing i use let's be honest so you can see it's like well loved it's completely filthy um but yeah as i said before like i'm more into my foundation making sure that's really like clean looking and quite like glowy so i want to keep it more like sunset colors so I probably use a mixture of Burnt, Sunkist and P. Louise so it's obviously like these through and then maybe a little bit of this like Burnt it's called Shade Latte so that's basically what it is it's kind of like a in between like an orange and a brown like a nice medium tone so I'm probably going to use that to give myself a bit more depth if I need it but yeah focusing mainly on the, um, the warm the warm colours so I've not decided whether I want to do my waterline like brighter or darker I think I'm going to do it brighter for now and then I can always put darker at the end I feel like making it darker so I'm sorry I'm going to have to do it over here. Does anyone else get these horrible gunky bits? Like no matter how much I seem to wipe my eyes before I do makeup, sleep just comes out from nowhere, I swear to god. I'm going to take the brown from my favourite palette ever which is the Tartiest Volume Free Contour Palette and now this is like literally my third palette my um boyfriend's mum actually got it well the mirrors fell out which is a bit annoying but that's my fault but my boyfriend's mum actually got me this um as a birthday present because she knows how much i love it and i go through them like ridiculously so yeah i always love this brown i use it for my eyebrows i use it for my shadow i use it for anything that i use it for even drawing freckles on sometimes so i'm gonna take that on like a little flat brush 
this has actually come from one of the um, Lauren Keegan LK brow sets and it's really good because it's quite like well it's actually made for sculpting out underneath your brows but um, it's really good for getting like I had a really tight to your lower lash line so I like to do that with the brow just to kind of like I said get rid of that kind of like white bit I've just got on my lower lashes so I'll do that now and then show you right so it looks a bit weird now because I've not blended it out but there's one eye done and it's kind of like you can kind of see from afar it makes the eye look a lot bigger underneath focus mainly the depth of the colour like please focus on the um, outer corner and then like whatever's left just bring it outwards and then kind of like let it fade as it goes to the corner so yeah I'll just do the other eye and then come back so I've just realised how this basically has been like a makeup tutorial <laughs> I said at the beginning I was like yeah this is just going to be like a get ready with me so it's going to be dead chill but I've literally told you like everything so sorry about that guys but I literally don't know what to speak about because I feel like anything that I didn't do by anyway you're going to see in the vlog so I don't really want to like chat too much about that but um but yeah all we're doing really is going the races Um, like I said it's mainly because it was my 21st birthday as I was away on holiday so like the night well it was a Sunday morning like really early morning so we had to get up at like 5am to go to the airport the actual day that we went to Dubai um but because the night before was a Saturday I kind of had like my family meal with like my side of the family and my boyfriend and his mum and dad so that was really nice that was just at like a local um pizza place called Fat, fat I'm gonna say Fat Olive then Fat Italian um yeah just round off so we were just wanted to keep it nice and local just obviously with, with us getting up so early in the morning so yeah that's kind of like my family like kind of do but now to, today um it's going to be like my boyfriend's side so i think there might be about 12 of us in total so i feel like it's got a drop and everything um so yeah it should be good but like let's be honest when you're 21 the month's basically your birthday month isn't it so i don't feel like the celebrations will stop just yet <laughs> So yeah, now that I put that dark brown under there, um, I'm going to use that medium kind of brown shade like I described before. I'm literally just going to like do like a fade down effect. So like because I've done that darker there, I'm going to use the second darkest underneath and then I'll use like the um, the kind of orangey tones right underneath to kind of give that smoky effect then and give like an illusion like it's really fading out like, like a sunset like I said. So blend that out. But no, honestly guys. I literally I can't get over how unreal Dubai was like I knew it was gonna be unreal anyway but Jimmy just kind of thinking like oh am I gonna get there and be like I don't know because I was so like I had my hopes so high anyway for it because I just knew it was amazing from what people have said that I, I don't know I always feel like things can be a bit I don't know a bit of an anti-climax sometimes I know it's happened to us in the past where like we've been that excited for a holiday like when we actually got there we've been a bit not let down because obviously it's always nice to be away no matter where you are in the country just to have in general time off together but but yeah like to buy like I literally was felt like I was in like I don't know, like a car book out like everything I'd look at like the weather is the exact same every single day like I don't know I just can't describe it like whenever trying to describe it to people like I was even saying yesterday to my mum because we were driving um where we were driving we were driving to town and she um I was basically describing how like in the window you're just sitting and you see you can only see the top of every single roof around us basically so like all the houses and that whereas like if you're in Dubai you can never see like the top of the buildings like unless you really like poke your head out the window and just because they're all so high like there's not one building that's like eye, le eye level basically like you're always looking around you're feeling like tiny basically so if you want to feel like you've shrunk loads then <laughs> go to Dubai not sure why I'd want to feel like that but you know I do actually like to get like a slight bit of that contour shader used just use a minimal amount on my finger and kind of like blend it on the lid and then once I blend out the bronzer with it on the palette it kind of gives like a really nice like transition shade all over and it does kind of act like a bit more like a glue for the rest of my shadows then but without being too sticky like an actual primer would be so but yeah it's really nice to do like when you really want to be like quite natural but you want to look, you've got a bit more dimension to your lids. It just looks like I've got a natural shadow, mainly from my lashes, probably. So, yeah, we like to do that on like a normal day. Okay, so now that's, that's down. Then I get a fluffy brush with that bronzer, like literally just use your normal bronzer. 
and then blend it into the crease. And then I kind of like to do it, like I really just do it, like a windshield wiper kind of motion and then I'll kind of just flick out the end so like where it kind of goes up, I like to kind of just like follow it. You won't be able to see a massive dramatic difference at the moment anyway, just obviously it being such a light bronzer but when I start to build it up you'll know what I mean. So I'm just going to take this little little brush, get that burnt shade. Actually no, sorry, I'm going to get sun kissed because I do want it to be more orange than red toned. And focus that mainly in the crease. I feel like I'm so much better than doing clients than I am to doing my own makeup but I feel like that's because when I'm doing clients obviously they've got their eyes shut the whole time and it's really easy to get symmetrical whereas I'm doing myself obviously like I said I've always liked to have my lashes done so already they act as like a bit of a barrier for me to be able to see what I'm doing but um but yeah like because I said I've got quite a lot of excess skin <laughs> it does like a what a lot of um blending to get it like up with so like I'm doing that now but if I really like tilt my head back there's quite a lot of space still left to kind of blend it up but it's fine it's all just like a building process basically but it's one of them you just got to trust the process and keep blending basically and you'll get there okay so there's one eye so it looks a bit more like a halo eye to be honest at the moment but um when I start blending it more and more out I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be focusing more of the colours on like the outer corner because I'm gonna be putting a bit more of like a shimmer here that's going to cover up here anyway which is going to give me like a nice like I don't know you know what I mean like a nice um, blend just to kind of let it sit on top of and still have like a nice bit of that orange peeking out on top and then like I said I'm gonna start doing this then kind of like a flicker motion so I don't like to kind of face that way, I kind of like to keep the very tip of the brush as close to like the outer section of my eye as possible and then like flick it up so you're only getting like a minimal amount basically on the outer corner. But yeah, I'm quite like messy with my own eye makeup to be honest, like yeah I'm I love all like the cut creases and all that kind of style but I feel like I'm me personally because I, like I said I've got a lot of like skin on my eyelids I kind of like to keep it just more smoky and um, a little less too much going on basically because I feel like I don't want anything to draw attention to like my eyelids so <laughs> this is why I do this so now sorry I'm going to put that latte colour in again I'm going to do it over here and then um, blend it with the red tone don't even know what time it is oh god bloody 20 past 2 I'm sure I started this at 12 <laughs> I just chat so much and like boys wonder why the hell we take so long to get ready I mean to be fair I know that obviously we don't know we sit and chat to a camera as we're getting ready but I mean I probably wouldn't take much longer than this to be fair so yeah we are running like late for time now so I'm probably gonna have to start speeding up a little bit but if I have missed anything out a little bit and you want to ask me like anything then feel free to comment below and I'll let you know any of the products I've used. Taking a bit more of that dark brown from my favourite palette. And then again just focusing it on the outer corner. Taking a mixture of just all the orangey shades really. And then blending that little bit of brown out just around the edges. And some people like this, but I actually like to focus a lot of the orange like here. Like some people seem to really avoid this area, but I don't know. I quite like the way it looks a bit more like grungy and effortless. And then again, like I said, just like focus out. If my eyelashes are starting to look a bit messy, then I'm gonna brush them out soon. Don't worry. Sorry, the camera cut out again. So yeah, what I was saying, I was kind of just like kind of blending the rest of that orange out. And then I'm gonna go with that mustardy orange shade again. 
but yeah this kind of like softens it out a little bit so you can see and then I really like to kind of blend it really far over here but then once I've got a bit of bronzer on I'll kind of blend it into the shadow and it'll kind of again give that kind of wings out effect but without actually having to use any wing liner or anything like that Again, this is by Tarte. This is another one of their, my favourite palettes. And it is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. So it's basically like, well, really good like everyday shades to be honest. I'm stuck between this one or like, the goldy one to put on the lid. I might go for the goldy like mainly. And then if I want to deepen the outer corners a little bit, then I'll put a bit more of the dark one on. So I'm actually going to wet my finger with a bit of this glowy spray. And then put it straight into the pan just because I feel like with any kind of shimmer I actually prefer my fingers so you can see the pigment so yeah I mean some people would like the cut crease this like I said before but I just kind of like the more soft effect I don't know I don't know why I just again I feel like maybe my eyelids they just when I've tried to do a cut crease in the past I feel like it kind of makes me look a bit like a drag queen not gonna lie so that kind of makes me look a bit more awake now. I probably will put a bit more of the brown in again just to blend out a little bit, but no, I'm quite happy with that shade. Okay, getting a little brush and then getting a bit more of brown. It's actually called Matte Contour, the shade from the palette. It's quite a good, like, creamy, it's not cream because obviously it's a powder, but it's not very, like, it's not a powdery powder. That's the extent it's a bit more, like, forgiving, so. You can kind of put like a little bit on and it'll be really soft or you can put a lot on and it kind of just builds to the way you want it which is nice. So yeah, just kind of like softening the edges slightly. I don't want to kind of like get rid of that line too much but... But yeah, if you're struggling to kind of get the very edge without kind of like bringing it too high, like I said, tilt your brush that way and then the back end of the brush that which hasn't really got any product on is going to blend that for you so it's going to move it upwards in a way that's not going to be too dark basically. Okay, so I quite like the way that looks now. Not really too dark but like I said, I'm not really into the darkness. It's more just like... They're really summery warm tones. So I think I'm gonna move to bronzer now because to finish off the eye look I feel like that's what makes it look best once I've kind of like put the bronzer on. So I'm just gonna use like a fluffy angled brush. I think this is one of the yeah, one of the spectrum brushes. AO5. And then taking that big All my bloody writing just worn off. This is pathetic. So it is basically just the bourgeois maxi light bronzer, so like the main bronzer that bourgeois does basically. So again, this is quite a light bronzer, so same with the eyes, I like to build up, so I'll start off with the lighter one. Focusing it just like, basically like a normal bronzer, so just kind of like put it everywhere. And then literally just going over the edges of that shadow. And then it's going to kind of mesh it all into one then. Always go with me nose as well. I feel like it kind of makes it look like the, um, the sun's hitting naturally then. I like to kind of put it like across the nose here. yeah that's again still quite like a natural bronze so I mean like I said I don't want it to be too sharp under my cheekbones but I do want a little bit more definition so I'm going to put a bit more of a deeper bronzer in now and then the, from those ones from the um yeah I'm going to do a mixture of them too from the Tartius contour palette again okay so that side kind of gave me a bit more of a contour now but without actually having like a big sharp line so I'm just going to do the same on the other side and then that's probably going to be it for bronzer again really focusing I feel like if you're not going to contour your nose and you want to do something to it the best thing to do is literally just focus your bronzer like underneath and what it's going to do is I mean obviously it depends on the shape of your nose but I feel like mine's quite long so I kind of like it to look a bit more like button nose like and if we kind of put a bit more of a shadow underneath with the bronzer it kind of gives it the look that it turns up a little bit more don't really take any time at all so I never really skip that step out okay so that's bronze done I think I'm going to use two blushes because um why not because <laughs> I'm extra so 
this one's I love the colour of this but I wish it kind of came out a lot more like how it does in the pants it's like a very peachy shade but it is like a universal colour so um, it's made to be able to basically suit any skin tone so if you're like pores than colour it's going to um, suit you then and obviously if you're really dark so it doesn't have a lot of colour payoff but it's one of them that you can build up over time so I actually kind of like get the brush just so it's a bit more dense so I can get a lot of colour on there you can see it's kind of just like giving that nice like sun kiss effect it's got quite like a bit of a sheen too which is nice so it's not like a chunky like glittery sheen it's just like a bit of a um bit of a glow so it's going to kind of combine the blonde bronzer with the rest of the um, the looks. I don't know how well I shot the camera showing it but I'm going to go in with the other brush blusher which is similar to the one I've just used but it's just a lot more colour payoff basically so I'm just going to dab that a few times focus it like right on the apples and again like if the sun was to hit you I feel like you're gonna get more of like that pinky flush look as opposed to like just bronzer so I even like to put it a bit on the top of my forehead just to kind of look like I've been more on holiday you know if you ever do burn it's always here and on my nose so I still feel like I look really weird because I've not got my eyebrows on yet <laughs> right, I am actually I lied before about spraying this I'm gonna do it all over just because I feel like I have put a lot more powders than I would usually just because like I said I've not been out in ages so I'm a bit worried about it staying on. I'm going to go back over this just so I've got like a nice dewy base to put my highlighter on because the thing is once you put like a powder highlighter on top of like really powdery products it kind of can look a bit like chunky so I'm going to spray this really lightly all over and try and avoid getting like the little blobs I was talking about. Do you want dry? What I'm actually going to do before that's fully set I'm actually going to use it as a way to stick down my little peach fuzz on my cheeks like I know you probably can't see it but I mean everyone has it it's just the little tiny pieces of hairs that you have like coating your skin which like the powders sometimes cling to so if I pressed it down this way now it's going to kind of make your skin look a lot smoother so I'm going to work my way up while that, um, while that spray is still damp Okay, there we go. So we don't look powdery at all now, which is exactly what I wanted. I don't like my highlights to be too bright. I just like to look like I've got more of like an actual glow. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, again, <laughs> it's all worn off. You can tell I've like had these products for ages. Peach Nectar, that's what's called. I remembered now. Um, but yeah, it's basically like a really lovely like peachy rose gold tone. yeah as you can see it doesn't really add much brightness but I like that because I don't want it to look like as if I've got these like big white bits on my cheeks I just like it to look like I've got a nice glow so and taking it over the eyebrow again and then a little bit here and then I'll put my rose gold one again like I use quite a bigger fluffier brush for this because I'm not too bothered about it being too like detailed but then I'll do this like I'll do it in the morning maybe in kind of just like a this motion just bring it under slightly here I think I'm actually just going to leave the highlighter just like that I don't want to overpower it too much mm. I spoke too soon <laughs> I am going to actually okay so pretty much just got to do my brows and my lips now I think Okay, so for my brows, this is actually a brow gel, but I actually like to use it with the brush that comes with the product and um, use this to kind of brush through my brows. And I feel like, because it's quite wet, but it's still not too pigmented, it's quite easy to get your brow the way you want it. Like, I don't ever make it any sense, but because I like it quite natural, I feel like it's a lot easier to build with something like this than it is just like a brow pomade, for example. I literally just like to go over the shape that I've already got basically and I just find that I like a little bit more like an arch here so I really like to bring it a little bit higher and like round it off a little bit more okay so I like that shape of brow I think it looked quite natural but just to bring the hairs out a little bit more I'm going to go back in with that gel on top now and these brows are like not going anywhere trust me <laughs> 
this brow gel is waterproof as well which is why I took it on holiday with me and why I use it and literally they did not budge I loved it so much so it's like my new go to now right so again just makes them look a bit more hairy now so again just any old mascara Revlon mascara this one is um, again like I'm really not fussed on mascara because obviously I do always have my lashes done I literally I, mean, I use any mascara just from my bottom lashes so as long as it doesn't really run that's like all I care about so okay so for my lips I'm literally just going to use a Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner and this is in the shade Addiction so it's just like a really nice like it's kind of like a your lips are better kind of shade it's kind of like a mixture of Velvet Teddy and Honey Love so I kind of like to put this all over and then I'll decide what I'm going to put over on top I'm going to use the NYX Athens Soft Matte Lip Cream um, I'm going to put that all over. So I've got Coral Fever, Coral Fever, and I think this is Maybelline again. And this one's really old, so I'm not entirely sure if you still do it actually. I've actually not used it in a while, but um, I remember using it like all the time, like two years ago. But yes, it's in the shade Coral Fever, so it looks really, really bright, like as it is there. But I feel like if I just put like a little bit on top, yeah, that's going to kind of make it like a nice sun kissed peachy tone just wish my lips weren't so dry but yeah I think I'm going to keep it as that colour ok so I think that is the look complete so yeah I'm going to take my hair out and then you'll probably see me next when we're all ready to go to be honest again I don't know what I'm wearing but you'll be able to see soon so I hope you enjoyed and I'm not sure what our next video is going to be I'm not sure if this is after all the Dubai vlogs or in between or yeah I'm not too sure so also if you've got any recommendations um, on what other videos you'd like to see from us because obviously I don't really want to make this just a channel about me I want it to be a bit makeupy here and there just to break it up a little bit but obviously it is mine and my fiance's um, channel too so yeah if you've got recommendations for us especially for places to go in like England and that then please let us know because yeah, we're, we're going to be so bored now that our holiday's done with and we've got to look forward to. So, yeah, so I hope to see you all soon and please comment below. Yeah, just don't be too mean. Do you want to say bye to the followers as well? See you at the races, kids. <laughs> Thanks all for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Go on, you can take it down this time. Bye.